Hello everyone, my name is Billy Chris and in this video tutorial I will be showing you how to apply an image to an object in 3ds Max. So this scenario will be showing uh, how uh, as if you're walking on an alleyway, in, uh, especially in Sebiri, uh, how can you find uh, graffitis uh, all around the world. Uh, so uh, I have created six uh, different objects so one two three four five six and it's these ones are pretty easy uh, to do it's just like I've been using the box and then uh, so from that uh, generated box I have been just been uh, uh, copying and uh, so that I get like three of them and this so one copy again two copy again so whenever I'm uh, happy with the shape uh, what I did I simply copy it again and uh, that's it and then uh, for the uh, for the road for the street I've been using the plane command which is here and I have just been drawing in and in if. So it's pretty much uh, what are you seeing on this, uh, the one I've already drawn. So what I'll do, I'll just, uh, oops, skip. What I'll do, I'll just delete the one I've, it's already been done. Uh, so from here, uh, I will show you how to apply uh, an image on these uh, objects. It will make you feel as if you're walking on, uh, on an alleyway, especially in Melbourne alleyway, uh, most located in the Melbourne city. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll start by uh, hoping, uh, first I'll check if my render setup is in uh, Skyline Render. <coughs> yeah, it is in Skyline Render. And then I'll be opening the Material Editor, which is here. Uh, from here, uh, right click. Uh, go to materials general uh, skyline scanline and then uh, standard legacy uh, as you'll see so what I need to do first one uh, I simply need to drag and join the plane first and then after that I'll go the map uh, go to unview select new map and then go to Bitman lookup and I select uh, whatever I want to put on the plane, which is uh, a road graffiti. <coughs> so once I select open, uh, you see it's already here in place. And the same sequence go for the rest of the material, uh, which again material scan line uh, standard legacy, and then uh, I'll connect with the. Uh, with the source, uh, with the material, with the object, and then from here again, uh, as you can see, we'll go to maps, diffuse, no map, uh, we get to bit map lookup, and then uh, we just select uh, whatever uh, uh, sort of uh, like image we want to put on the object, which is already been here, as you can see on my. Uh, right bottom side and this uh, keeps going with like this again material is gone line uh, like you see we connect again with whichever object we want the image in and then uh, we'll continue uh, with look up and then Again. So as you can see, it's creating that sort of uh, as if you're walking down the Melbourne alley. And uh, the same goes for uh, for the rest of all. And Diffuse color, no map, 
bitmap lookup click ok and then uh, from here you can select any image you want to put in so as you can see uh, uh, you, you can keep doing on the rest of all these stuff uh, I still keep doing it for you so that you can get a better sending to what uh, sort of finish you'll be having You can rearrange everything uh, just like I don't have any uh, space right now, I'm leaving as it is, but you can just rearrange in uh, by increasing it, increasing the window size and just uh, sort of making much looking much better. finish which you've got uh, once uh, you have finished applying all the um, images onto the object okay it's pretty much uh, the idea about it it's like creating a Melbourne CBD alleyway so when you walk past in the small alleyways, you can uh, find like uh, graffitis on both sides of the wall, which is like this. That's all. This is how you apply an image on an object in 3ds Max. Thank you for watching. Hope you like this video.